just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in. That's a fitting quote from The Godfather Part 3 starring Al Pacino. Because what Highland Fairview was doing is some gangster type stuff. Welcome, I'm Donovan. This is the update. This is an emergency update. I could not hold this back. This has to get out. A lot of stuff has been going on. In, uh, recently, the Jobs Coalition received $812,490.84 from Ido Binbizi and Highland Fairview. That is a lot of money. And this was all collected and reported. These, this is the money that's been reported. We don't even know what hasn't been reported between August 31st and December 31st, according to uh, the Secretary of State. And this is very, very scary on all levels. If this is democracy. You're going to buy the democracy. Now, from my inside source, a good friend of mine who talks a lot, who thinks he knows a lot, and he does. I'm going to give him that, you know. But um, he's leading me down a rabbit hole that I just keep finding more and more stuff. I've said before, I'm done with Highland Fairview. I have nothing to say about Highland Fairview. My battle is to stop Victoria Baca from... Uh, seeking office. I want to see new leaders. I want to see new representatives. And we need a clean sweep as far as I'm concerned. But the rumor is a quarter of a million dollars bounty has been put on my head to prevent me from seeking elected office. Now, we're talking about local politics here. This isn't the national Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Republican debates. A quarter of a million dollars in local elections? Are they serious? <sighs> this is why I do my quote, quote, stupid show, because I want the people to know what's going on. Has everybody, has anybody ever wondered whatever happened to the free Saturday dinners from Highland Fairview? I was looking forward to him continuing that because after this, you know, thing passed and everything, I said, well, at least I, at least we will get free dinners on Saturday. That stopped. All the Highland Fairview supporters, he cut the bottom line off of. No more free turkeys. This is almost a million dollars, people. With a million dollars, he could have built us a youth center. A million dollars, he could have built us a technology center for his WLC. For a million dollars, he could have donated to the veteran center, homeless shelters, all these things that this city needs. But he rather donate to himself to get his projects passed. And this is why this city is under siege. A quarter of a million dollars to keep me from being elected. Why? Because I put the truth out there and I'm getting things done for my neighborhood, for my district, for the city. Almost a million dollars in our elected elections, local. This is the 460s that was on the um, Secretary of State's website. I want you to go to this page because it's posted. Everybody's talking about it. I mean, I got a text on it. And I was just in shock. I mean, I went sick. I went literally sick. But this is why we have to put the alarm out. This WLC is not going to be built. And if it is, it's 25 years later. So if you needed a job right now, I don't know how this is supposed to help you. We have all these warehouses that are begging for workers. And yet our, our young people don't want to work at warehouses. Our so-called grandchildren don't want to work in warehouses at $8 an hour. This is very alarming, and this is what was reported. Now, if you've been watching my page, uh, I reported something on the no for Committee M, which is Victoria Baca and the Goon Squad's uh, 460. And they didn't report a simple thing on their 460s. So now this has opened up a door to where I'm going to go down this rabbit hole, and I'm going to look to see if I can find anything on Highland Fairview with their donations and what's going on. And also, uh, and also uh, look at this thing and notice that he's given to the Democratic Party. Mr. Benvizi is very smart as a businessman. 
because he is buying influence. He, he donates to the Democratic clubs. He donates to the assembly. He donates to Riverside County. Look at this 460. This is how you do business today. He's buying influence. So as these lawsuits progress and things go to assembly members and council members, how do you think they're going to vote? Are they going to vote your interests? Are they going to vote my interests? The people. Now, I also want you to think about this. Why would somebody put a quarter of a million dollar bounty on me to prevent me from holding office? And my question is, what is our city council going to do about this influence in our elections? It's a problem. Am I the only one complaining about it? Maybe. But I am a veteran that has rights and they need to be addressed. You, you know, you are my council person. And this also brings up another question. Who else on the county and in running for office has taken money from this coalition, Highland Fairview, and whatever else? We need to do our homework. This is very, very scary. This person here owns this city. And that isn't what America is about. That isn't what Moreno Valley is about. There is over 200,000 citizens here and we need a voice. And we need to get to the bottom of this. What are we going to do about this developer controlling our local politics? Send me your emails, your questions. Send it to this stupid show. For, for some reason, for a stupid show, they are doing their damnedest to shut the show down. But, you know, the funny thing is, the more that they uh, try to make fun of my show, what they don't understand is you're driving more traffic to my um, message. And the best way to do with something you don't like, especially on social media, is to ignore it. So just, just ignore it. Because it has nothing to do with the issues. Um, you know, making fun of somebody. This is not high school. This is real life. These things that, these decisions that these people are make are affecting people's lives. So continue to be irrelevant. Thank you for driving people to figure out who is this Donovan Sadiq. What is news from Edgemont? Because to stop a person who only wants to better their district does not make any sense to me. Now, this thing is going out. Miss Jimson is aware of it. The council, I'm very sure, is aware of it, especially those that are receiving money from these people. And what are they going to do about it? That's the question. And the question moving forward is, do we want a developer who has way more wealth than anybody in this city to make decisions about a city he doesn't even live in? That's the question, people. Email me uh, on this page. Let me know what, what your thoughts are. Hey, this has been, a, been the update. I mean, I'm just as shocked as you. I'm Donovan. I'll keep you posted.